This is a reconstruction of I-40 with portion of 440. We're in uh, the southern loop of Raleigh. It's a total reconstruction. It's an 11 and a half mile project. It's three lanes to four lanes, sometimes five lanes. The existing concrete pavement is 100% removed and we replace it with asphalt paving. I'm Mark Schwant. I'm the project manager uh, for Granite Construction. The FT4250 is a single machine. It has a double screen, six by 12. The final product is meeting spec for a class four base. The 4250 we chose because of the tonnage that they were requiring on this job. It required a bigger machine. The 4250 has a six by 12 two deck screen on it, which is the biggest in the industry on a track machine. And also being able to continuously crush and move the machine. My name is Chris Worley. I'm the regional sales manager for the Southeast for uh, KPI, JCI, and Aztec Mobile Screens. One of the biggest challenges that we had on this site was space. There in the middle of the median, space was tight, so they needed one machine that could do it all for them. Well, we have a narrow, small work area, 11 and a half miles long, and we can leave the material in place as we need it and, and produce it trucking efficiency is greatly improved. The continuous crush is a requirement for this project. It, it has to happen this way. The other challenge is the dowel bars that were in the material. You know, Granite had some concerns about that. However, after we got the machine out here, ran the material, the magnet did an excellent job of getting the dowel bars and the steel out of the concrete. They're an inch and an eighth by 18 inches. We were very concerned about the crutch's ability to process the dial bars. The machine has a magnetic belt that sets them off to the side. We pick them up later and we uh, recycle the rebound. And it's worked very well for us. There was not an option to haul this material in the restricted hauling hours that we have, haul it off site, crush it and bring it back in. That was never considered to meet our schedule. The tub ion conveyor is the first one that we had actually built and specifically for this project and allowed them to discharge the material on either side of the barrier wall without having to use any loaders or uh, dozers to move the material. So it saved them a lot of time as far as hauling the material in and out. They were able to discharge the material right where they were going to be using and paving over top of it. The continuous operation allows the our windrows. If we had to stop and shut the machine down before we tracked, it would be shut down every 10 minutes and then you'd have to walk it forward. And there's a time that you have to let the machine idle down. That just was not an option, not with this. The continuous operation, I've estimated, stays at least 12 minutes an hour. So 20% would be down for the machine to stop crushing and to clear the belts, walk forward, start up again. At 20% is at a minimum. Over the life of the project, we saved about four months due to the continuous operation of this machine. When the machine showed up on the project, we had no qualified help that had been around crushers before. KPI furnished a service tech. On numerous occasions, we've had the KPI tech help us out. Service has been good. We need parts immediately. We can get them the next day. We have spare parts available for us. Our personnel crushes and does all the maintenance on the project. We don't need outside mechanic, especially for special applications. It's self-contained. We do this reasoning in the morning, we produce, and then clean the machine in the afternoon. The fact that the product is American-made helps us out greatly. We tested a few other models, but the FT4250 gave us what we needed for continuous crushing.